Um, gentlemen of the press, I want to officially welcome His Excellency Owede Rochas Sokorocha, the Executive Governor of Imo State and the leader of governors in the South East. With him is the service chiefs and members of the Security Council of Imo State. Uh, we also have here Deputy Governor of Africa State, SNT, and other members of uh, the Security Council of Africa State. Of course, you know that the traditional rulers, chairman of traditional rulers council of both states, are statutory members of that council. This afternoon, Governor Korocha has come to establish the fact that Part of our culture in Igbo land is that whenever your brother is happy, you rejoice with him. If he has needs to worry also, you worry with him. He has come for us to fashion strategy to battle issues of common interest between both states, especially security issues. We are aware that kidnapping and violent crime has become a recording decimal in this area. And what we want to do is to lift part of the problem of the federal government under the leadership of President Buhari by making sure that the South is safe. We are also anticipating that great development will happen in this sub region and this does not go well if there is insecurity. That is why he has come for us to re-strategize and make bold statements about the security challenges that are common and germane in this area. One of such is that we condemn the spate of kidnapping, especially as it affected the five full men that were abducted and assassinated in the forest and we are all united in the fact that that particular forest will not only be rid of all criminal elements but we will make sure that such other locations wherever they may be found will no longer be safe heavens for criminals between Imo and Abia. The time and period when criminals will launch attack from Imo and hide in Abia and launch attack from Abia in Imo and hide, return to Abia uh, has become a thing of the past. The security chiefs have been mandated to cross our borders freely to make sure that they chase down and hunt down these criminals wherever they may be. It is our responsibility to make sure we protect lives and property of not only Abians, but all Nigerians and all members of the world community that reside within the confines of Imo and Abia doing genuine business. We are alive to that responsibility and we will acquit ourselves of that responsibility creditably as God empowers us. We have also agreed that this joint Security Council meeting between Abia and the Imo will be sustained. We will make sure that we exchange ideas, exchange views, we exchange strategies to make sure that both states will become the safest states within the sub-region. On this note, I would like to hand over this microphone to my brother governor, but not until I say thank you to him and thank you to those that are part of this strategic entourage. And we assure him of our love, we assure him of our solidarity, we assure him of our support. And as he departs to him, we pray that he goes with a piece of our heart to our brother Sidimo. Because by way of origin and common ancestry, there is indeed no difference 
between Imo and Abia. And I welcome you, Excellency. Well, thank you very much, uh, members of the press. Uh, basically, I'm here with my Security Council to join forces with His Excellency, the Governor of Abia, his Security Council, to see how we can flush out this uh, misclass and this men of underworld who kept uh, uh, making life unbearable for the citizens of Abia and Imo. But particularly is the recent uh, kidnap of the five Nami people, uh, which has drawn a lot of attention and will condemn it in its entirety, that act of kidnap. But thank God, the culprits have been arrested and they will face the due right of the law. And I will assure you that um, um, all of them that were involved uh, will really pay the price, uh, ultimate price for the action. And also to to let the world understand that this is uh, uh, the kidnapping cases that we have not been battling with. It has nothing to do with ethnicity or any ethnic group. It's a, it's a kidnapping um, activities which we have all been battling with. Uh, again, we have um, involved our traditional rulers, um, charging them to take more responsibilities as the community chief security officers to we'll make sure that um, they keep, uh, they, they, they give us information about uh, suspected criminals within their areas so that we can take care of the situation faster. Uh, we have also looked at the issue of our borders. Our borders are weak because that we think that uh, when the securities operate within the city at the border, uh, no one actually takes responsibility for the borders. And for that reason, we have declared a joint security council of both Imo and Abia to, to address the issues of these borders where they keep these criminals, especially the forest within the borders. And we tend to extend this meeting to Enugu and uh, Rivers where we have a lot of court activities and everything. So. Um, um, the meeting has been quite quite fruitful. Uh, we have also agreed as a government, two of us, to quickly uh, purchase some equipment, especially uh, the necessary equipment that will help to fish out these uh, miscreants from wherever they are hiding. Uh, so that, that, that is joint support for Security Council. But we want to commend our Security Council um, of Lima and Abia for a job well done. We have taken a very seasoned security chiefs and their men to have uh, discovered this uh, uh, this uh, grave or this forest. And, and information reaching us is that it's not just the five Fulani people, there are other people there. In fact, they, they don't have two other people from that grave, and they're not Fulani. These are uh, uh, Igbos uh, who are also found in that area. So it's not a direct attack, attack on anyone. And I want to commend the security chiefs and you are meant for a job well done. Count on us. We want to show support. Uh, the relationship between me and the government of Abia is quite cordial and tight. I want to close this uh, gap of uh, this miscreants taking on due advantage. Now the governors are together on this matter. I think there's no there's no hiding place for them again. One of the actions we have taken is that uh, we're going to go by our local laws, the complete forfeiture of their premises, wherever they are found, or any link related to that. So because we tend to we tend to now go ahead and demolish all their homes and recover those properties. And we'll do that because if they think they can do the wrong thing also, then they should respect the right thing to be done on them. So um, we are going to both join our hands in making sure that we fight this uh, uh, miscreants. This is how uh, this evil forest starts. This is how Sambisa forest story starts. So we must be it on the board before these guys take us on our ways. Again, Your Excellency, uh, thank you very much for uh, the efforts you are making for, for security of national and property in Niger State. And count on me as your brother. Anytime I will support you. Until the press, God bless all of you.